Hi, I'm Birdman Mel, and today we're going to talk about chickadees. While there are five different types of chickadees across the United States, the most commonly found one are the black capped chickadees. At our house, we call them the polite bird, as they go to a feeder, take just one seed, and fly off to open it. During the winters, chickadees form feeding flocks that will range over areas of 20 to even as large as 50 acres. You'll often see other birds join in the flock because they seem to realize that chickadees, like a truck driver, seem to know where the best places to eat along the highway are located. The favorite foods of the chickadee are insects, black oil sunflower seeds, and nuts. While chickadees are glad to eat out of almost any feeder, my favorite, and theirs by far, is this feeder called the Clingers Only. It's designed in such a way that only clinging birds, like the chickadee, can hang on to it to feed. We like the chickadee feeder so much that we hang it on our kitchen bay window and fill it with a chickadee mix, our sunflower hearts. As I mentioned, chickadees love nuts, and you can keep them for just the chickadees and other small clingers by feeding it in a cage feeder like this one. It restricts access also to larger birds. Chickadees, like many other birds, also love suet. While I especially recommend feeding suet in the winter, as chickadees really need the energy then, you'll enjoy watching parents bring their young to feed if you offer suet or chickadee mix year-round. For a warm-blooded bird like the chickadee to survive cold winter nights, chickadees actually have to go into a regulated hypothermia, where they lower their body temperature 12 to 15 degrees below normal. Chickadees, like many birds, can detect approaching winter storms through a special middle ear receptor that notices barometric pressure changes. That causes them to consume as much food as possible before the cold storm comes in. Chickadees are cavity nesters. In many areas, the dead and large timber is dwindling, so you can help chickadees by providing a nest box. Many people feel that by filling the boxes almost a third full of coarse sawdust or wood chips, you give the chickadees something to excavate that will encourage them to use the box. But it's not yet a totally proven fact. It is important that the entrance to the house be just one and an eighth inch in diameter and be located at least six inches above the floor. You can keep woodpecker, squirrels, and others from enlarging the entrance to the hole through the use of a metal portal protector. As with all other songbirds, you'll also find chickadees readily respond to water. It's not an uncommon sight to witness a chickadee sitting on the end of a dripper on a bird bath, waiting for that next drop of fresh water to fall. By providing the foods chickadees like and providing water and nest boxes, you'll soon be enjoying polite chickadees in your yard. They're my family's favorite bird in the backyard. Enjoy the sights and the sounds.